Good morning, guys. Okay, so today is the day we leave for New Zealand, and I don't feel ready. Even though I packed so much the last couple days, I just don't feel ready. It's I don't want to leave. It's Every time for tour, I get really excited up until the day, and then I'm like, I don't want to go. Right now, Ali's at a bachelorette party, I believe it is, or a shower, bachelor shower, or baby shower, whatever that's called. Um, so I gotta just get things taken care of so when she comes back, I can drive all over Orlando. The reason why I'm going to Orlando is because it's a direct flight to LA, so I get to bypass crappy old Atlanta because I've been there way too long. That's like my second home, and I don't want to go there. And the least amount of planes, the better. Um, all right, so I gotta upload this, take a shower, get ready. All right, guys, you want to see a little tip and trick if you're traveling with a lot of stuff? Let me show you. I gotta get something really quick. Hold on, and then I'll show you. Make sure the cat doesn't go out. What you do, first off, see if you can get this inside. I'm just gonna put this down, otherwise, I'm gonna break something. Okay, so I'm traveling with two bases, which is pretty normal. Rather than paying for two different like bags, this is this is a little trick. Tape them together, and it's one giant thing. You might have to pay an overage thing, but it's cheaper. I've been doing this quite a long time. Actually, I think I'm very close to being a million miler, which is. I am way too young to get even close to that. <laughs> but it's like I was saying earlier, I just, I don't wanna go. I just, I mean I do, but at the same time, I'm gonna miss being home. But then when I'm home, you know, it's fun to play shows, so. It's definitely a catch 22, but I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, you, and that little ear over there. All right. <laughs> This one has wheels, so this is going to be on the bottom. Really like this. Really like this. This is going to be, this is going to be heavy. What if they didn't want me to do this? They let me do it before in the past. You know what I should do? There we go. Use your brain, Charles. Use your brain. You're smarter than one here. Look at that beautiful mess. Now I gotta get it totally, wait. Oh, Hawaii, I was like, wait, is this from the last time? I gotta get this approved by Colin now. All right, so at least I did this. Now it's duct tape and it's on wheels. I didn't screw up on that one. That's a positive thing. Okay, now to get everything in the car. I hate putting all the, the gear in this car because I don't want to ruin it. We're definitely not putting it in the new car, that's for sure. Not gonna do that. Not quite yet. We're also gonna to try to keep dogs out of the car. We're gonna see how long that lasts. Perfect timing. I just got back from a beautiful, like absolutely beautiful bridal shower for my friend Lindsay. But now I have to take Charles to the airport to leave for like three weeks. As much as I'm like excited for him, because I really am, I'm so excited for him and I know that they have been like looking forward to this trip. It makes me so sad just because I miss him so much. You know, I already miss him. I mean, it's, it gets so crazy like being at home by myself with the dogs as much as we like appreciate the time apart It's also one of those things like as much as I'm like excited for him because I really am I'm so excited for him and I know that they have been like looking forward to this trip It makes me so sad just because I miss him so much, you know, I already miss him I mean, it's it gets so crazy like being at home by myself with the dogs as much as we like appreciate the time apart It's also one of those things like no, it's tough like when you're with somebody all the time and then they're gone so it's gonna be interesting, but I'm so excited for him and I know he's gonna have a great time and I know he's gonna be with all the guys and the stuff's gonna be happening in the next couple of weeks, so make sure you stay tuned. Are you ready? Ah, uh, I guess. It's gonna be fun. I know, I still want to leave. You got some fuzz on you. Gotcha. I can't believe I got everything packed. 
I'm getting good at this stuff. You are, babe. I'm getting good. Okay, so Allie and I were like, you know, once you get a new car or once you see something, like when we were doing the RV stuff, all we saw was RVs. Um, I feel like once you see, like the yellow card game too, once you like start picking out something, you see it all the time. Anyway, so we're driving around looking at all the cars. Allie asked why they stopped make, making the Ford Bronco. Do you guys remember that car? It yeah, because I was like, I remember like, it was a that cool was thing. Like a pretty pop. I mean, I would say it was a, pretty, a decently popular car because it was like I don't know how to explain. It was like a. It was like a truck kind of like wagon SUV. kind of thing. Yeah, it was yeah. like that, but it was a truck. Yeah. Like not like an El Camino, it but was something. Cool. It, it usually, it was like on like big tires and everything. It was pretty cool. Anyway, so we were trying to figure out. Ali was like, "Why do you think they stopped making that?" I, total random guess. I was like, "Maybe O.J. Simpson," and I looked it up. O.J. Simpson killed the Ford Bronco. They they killed the Bronco after you know that whole car chase, and they made the expedition. Which is so crazy. And now you know. That was actually a good question too. We're all learning something yeah. today. Well, you know what else? You think about Saturn. Saturn's gone. Saturn is completely gone. Mercury's? Completely, yeah. Are Mercury's? Yeah, they're still there. Are they? Yeah. Um, I think I never think, see a Mercury. I don't think so. I think. I think so. I don't know. Anyway, so now we learned Sorry. something about the Bronco. Now you can tell your friends about that and quiz them. I, I feel like I should have met somebody on that one. I mean, but that's a, I mean, I, I, I think they made a good choice because I feel like that probably would have bit them in the This is so confusing. This is the first time I've ever flown out of um, I think this Orlando. is new, though, this area. It could I be huge. Remember, I don't remember all this stuff. I think I said the reason why I'm doing uh, Orlando is so that way I'm with everybody, A, and B, so I have a direct flight to LA. I, I did actually say that. Never mind. You're so smart. I did actually say that earlier, just probably a couple clips ago. Where's the porking? You say parking? The porking. The porking? I don't know, but I, Terminal B, that's Delta. Good option. Yep. Do, 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 do. This is our nice little, our little date dinner just before I leave. You're so romantic. Good old food court food. This one's got a, some pretty good food court stuff. Well, it's like there's a hotel within this airport. Yeah, it's like right over there. I mean, it's so massive. This reminds me of a mall. This is actually the first time, I think, ever that they have, I've actually flown out of here. And I did notice that they have clear, which is that thing where you can just bypass everything. And what it is, it's like TSA pre-check, but the next level. So basically on steroids. The problem is, I don't know if I still have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss this angle. <laughs> What's wrong? Do I have to go? Yes, you do. Are this, you excited? This guy's just gonna chill right there. It's okay. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm gonna call him Robert. He left. How would Robert go? I was just saying, Allie, this is the first full tour since we've been married. Because the other one was in between, so it was half a tour. This is the first full, actually not a, this isn't even a full tour. This no. Is, is, like, next tour will be the first four, four tour. Full, full tour? Full tour, I'm tired, I'm very tired. Just, obviously you guys saw, dropped off Char, and uh, I don't know. It's weird because it's been so long since I've had to drop him off for a tour that's been longer than like two days because most of the time that he was gone last year was for like college shows which is typically like literally a Friday to maybe a Sunday but this one he's gonna be gone until I think it's February 15th 16th it's the first time that we are gone from each other and for a while and I'm so happy for him but I do miss him it's hard, sometimes it gets really hard, but I know he's out there doing what he loves and I just wanna make sure he gets there safe because it's such a long flight. I don't know if you guys know this, but like flying from Florida, you typically have to go from Florida to LA and then LA to either New Zealand or Australia. 
and when I flew out there a couple years ago when they got engaged, that was like a 28 hour flight. And the reason was is that I had to stop in Atlanta and then stop in LA and then I got to Australia. And it's a long, long flight. It's not terrible though, it's like, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. But I know that for the boys, it's like they fly over there, they get there and then they go right to work. So I hope they have a safe flight, I hope they get a lot of rest and I guess when I actually talk to him, it's gonna be a day ahead of today. So it's crazy. It's gonna be crazy. I got off the plane. This is Jose. <laughs> he has Travis and I's name. And here's the fun part. Look at this. <laughs> That's waiting for us right down there. Riding in style. All right. Jose, I can drive, right? Huh? I can drive, right? Hi. <laughs> Every once in a while, we get lucky. Every once in a while. <laughs> this is like daily for us. Just, just, just race a plane. Well, uh, that your plane? No, let's go. Yeah, yeah let's go. Let's uh, die hard this thing. Well, I know. <laughs> There's a <laughs> speed limit. Porsche. This is speed limit for this thing Very here. Exciting. There's a speed limit out here? On the, yeah, yeah, you can't go more than... <laughs> What's the speed limit? It's All like a 10 miles. Really? 50 miles. You can I'm learning a bunch right now. No, it's very, you have to be very careful here, man. That's kind of crazy. I didn't know that. All right, guys, I have to do this really fast. I have to upload it from my phone. Anyway, we're boarding up right now. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in New Zealand. So, Travis is letting us hear the new record. We're we'll part of it. All right. That's good. I fixed it. Good night, guys. <laughs> Bye.